Hey guys, I would be here. Uh, wearing the shirt my sister got for me because she thought it was too ugly for me to wear in public. Joke's on you. I have no pride. I'm going to walk you through uh, turning on my Tesla solar system. I uh, just got approval from PG&E an hour ago. It is not yet linked into the home automation system. Uh, I wanted to walk you guys through this first. Uh, step two is for me to get an electrician to put in uh, CTs, current transformers, actually into the electric box. And uh, that way I can track both either through Broltec or through CQC how much power each individual circuit is taking. And you really need that in order to do any decent uh, energy conservation. Otherwise, you're just randomly turning things on or off and then waiting to see uh, how long it takes. Uh, but enough talking. Let me first walk you through how the system's constructed. Then we'll go ahead and flip the switch. And then finally, we'll pull up the Tesla app and see what that shows us. So let's explain with how the system is actually set up. You're used to just seeing that one box on the left, which is the PG&E box, and the power coming in off the street. Well, what I have now is I have solar actually sitting up on the roof, obviously. Uh, it comes down to an inverter that flips DC to AC. You see the conduit, and these guys did a real nice job hooking in the conduit, and we'll get to that power wall in one second here. Um, I now have three new boxes there. That one is non-backed up circuits, and I'll open up and show you in one sec. That one is the uh, kind of the brains of the system. It's a gateway, and then that one are the solar power powered circuits. Uh, I'll show you what that means. Okay, so with PG&E, you'll see I have no circuits left in here anymore. I just got the main, and then I have one. The second one feeds this uh, slave. Uh, um, solar install, right? Then we move on to things that wouldn't be backed up. My range is a 50 amp circuit, right? It's a gas range, but still 50 amp. Um, and then this is the gateway, so obviously the gateway needs to get power. Uh, the gateway, there's nothing you can actually touch in here because it's just a controller, right? And then here is where the magic happens. These are all the different circuits. So what they did was they moved all the circuits from here into here, and this is where all the CT transformers are going to go, where I'm going to measure, link this into the automation system so I can tell per, um, per circuit how much power everything is taken. So in summarization, we have the solar panels uh, on the roof coming into the inverter. Uh, it goes into the solar powered circuits. If there's not enough power coming in, um, and remember those two circuits at the bottom was power wall and uh, solar. Uh, the gateway will say, hey, there's not enough power coming in. Go get it from the power wall. Uh, and if there isn't still enough there, then you're going to have to go tap into PG&E. And then that box is things that don't run on solar at all. Uh, let's go turn the system on and see how it goes. We're about to turn the solar on for the first time. Here is the smart meter. What does it say? Uh, 240 is a vo voltage. Let's wait for that. Spot reading here, total kilowatt hours, it's going 0 0.66, whoops, 0.659 kilowatt hour spot rate. So let's turn on the solar, turn on a power wall. Now let's walk over to the actual battery, turn that on. Is green is good, I hope. And we'll go to the inverter, which is off, and then turn it on. What does this say here? Synchronization. Finally, like five minutes later, Took a while to synchronize. It's, uh, dude, we're generating power. And now let's go look at, oh, by the way, this is what the system specs are. So now that we're generating some juice, let's go take a look and see how PG&E is going. PG&E. I just missed that spot rating. Ha ha! Screw you. Negative. We have a negative. Yes. 
One component inside your house as well, you'll see here it says uh, Solar City. It's a tiny little thing. This is to facilitate communication. Uh, so this you just plug into your network switch. Uh, the gateway will also get connected into your network switch as well. So you're going to need two ports in your switch or router. Uh, and these are to support the Tesla app and the My Solar City app. Let's take a look at those. So let's take a look at the Tesla app real quick and you open it up. You'll see when you uh, open it up, it tells you how much your power wall is. You go to power flow and you see where your solar energy is going. Mine is going either to the home or power wall. I suspect once that's full, it's going to go back to uh, the grid and not go to the panel anymore. I'm going to record another add on uh, in a little bit for that. Um, performance, nothing was self powered uh, today, uh, which. Um, Oops, wrong button here, customize. You'll see the options here are backup only, where my power wall is only for the backup, um, which I, I don't see the point of that. I wanna be self-powered, which is at night. Uh, I wanna use the battery. So that's obviously what I picked, and you'll see here I reserve 20% for power outages. You can change that right in the app itself. Um, and then that's basically all there is to the app. And now let's look at the My Solar City app right there. You pull that up and it uh, takes a couple of seconds. You go to, I don't really see the point of this whole big thing here, but Power Guide is the only interesting thing I found so far. Um, and grant that I only have, the, I've only had this thing plugged in for a day, uh, this, the Solar City box. Uh, but it tells you how many kilowatt hours, how much uh, daylight you had, what your cloud cover is. I think that Tesla app is a lot more useful. Uh, speaking of which, the power wall should be charged, so let's go take a look at that. And you see here, yep, it is charged. So going to power flow, you'll see the solar is, well, it is in the evening at this point. Um, so uh, it's not generating that much uh, solar, but at least my house is only using a half a kilowatt right now. So the rest of that's going back to PG&E. In the middle of the day, this thing will be back more like five kilowatts. So it'll be sending almost everything over to PG&E since that power wall is charged. Uh, so there you have it. There's the two different apps. There is the layout of the system uh, and the boxes that you need. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, shoot me a note in the comments below or on uh, either the CQC or the Cocoon Tech forums. Thanks for watching.